Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Falcom and today we are streaming Aquila against SBO. Before I show you guys the, the game, I want to show you a quick screen here, right here. And as you can see, um, you guys have voted for Aquila against SBO. Um, with quite a lot of votes, all the other votes were kind of like evenly, but the, this match, I mean, it stands out a lot. <laughs> um, so I'll bring you to the game. I think it's live because there are some hectic things going on right here. And with me, co-casting today is Larue. Uh, hello guys, uh, thank you for coming. Uh, it's not live just yet, so uh, we're lucky. Apparently SPO wasn't ready just yet, but I think we're about to go live soon. So. Oh, alright, thanks for mentioning that. I thought we were yeah, it's okay. Because I, I thought it was kind of weird because they went straight to the other enemy spawn and yeah. did some funky stuff right there. By the way, um, the stream isn't popping up for me just yet. Are you sure you're streaming? I am, but it's right. a little bit it's delayed. Delay. Yes. What's your delay? Uh, I think it's about uh, one minute or one minute. Oh, all right. So pop up. I was just like, oh no. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, there it is. It just popped up. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I want to do this because people uh, sometimes tend to ghost, and that is when they sit yeah, in the yeah. stream and then like say what the other team is doing. So try to avoid it. Yeah, definitely. And it looks like we are going live right now. This is, this F, if FBO will spawn in the next player, then let's live. So. We need yeah. to spawn another player now. And they have veteran Matsi has joined in for them. Okay, Hugo has 500 ping, and I don't know if he's gonna make the spawn. He just uh, did. Yeah, it just uh, he's been back to, went back to normal as well, so that's good. Looks like it's um, SVO is going with six calf and two archers. Are there any mounted like infantry on the SVO side? Mm, not as far as I can see just yet, but um, and they're going. They're taking a deviation here from the standard six cav uh, build here, but not taking two cell horses. But Rambo is in a bit of trouble. If he can get rushed down here, if he's not that careful, Stoy and Seb are just going to go at him now. So oh, um, this could be. He needs to get out there right now. Aiden trying to help him out here. And he has stalled it long enough for Rambo to get out. And now Toy and Sevi are in that little corner. I don't know if they want to stay there. Meanwhile, the fight is going on behind the windmill. Or can I call it a fight? Yes, I can. Because Aiden got dismounted by FIFA right there. Ooh, no. Team kills. Uh, I think... And Aiden I... is very low. A bump can kill him here. In... Ooh. Okay, FIFA picks it up. I think both teams have no clue what to do right now, but just charge at each other and try to take opportunities. Yeah, it's a bit weird that SBO decide to fight there since it's closer to Aquila and, you know, Aquila is just picking up a lot of kills at the moment. But well, SBO have just, you know, fell back so long ago. Grimwald finally picks back a kill, but, you know, this is still, um, this is still a, a 4v, a 3v7 even, so, you know, with Hugo Payne is getting a team kill there. Um, I noticed that this Bureau is like way in distance. You have Hugo shooting, he's out of position and couldn't do anything. Honestly, I don't think it's him being out of position, I think it's the, the other players because Rambo just pushed in there. Uh, probably part of a plan, but you know, SBO was, um, was just so far, you know, so spread out that Aquila was too close and just punished him, and then they kept on fighting with their cab and lost people. And yeah, Hugo just had to run from so far, and, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you might be right, because it was kind of reckless moving in like that. He picks up a kill, sort of redeeming his team kill there, but... He goes down to Jarl eventually. So yeah, that means is, two uh, team kills happened for uh, for SBL, which is not that good. No, not at all, and I do feel like they have the better uh, class setup for this map, but Aquila on the other side, they're, uh, they're playing more oh. together. They need to play to its strengths. They can't just expect Rambo to, to you know, just charge in there and, and try killing everyone. They need to play to their six cap and not play like this. It's just an unfair splitting off because it's not. 
Rambo doing the same again there, and Wally going in, uh, Get trying to hit him. Let's see if they can do it again. Aquila is obviously a bit slower now, and just if Rambo can get out of there before Aquila gets there, or if they just decide to forsake him, then maybe. Yeah, good, he's running right now, he needs to run very fast. He needs yeah, to get he out does. of there. Because if not, the same thing will happen all over again, and we know that Aquila is going to take it. But he gets out, and all the calf from SBO are just running around and trying to like fend them off. Rambo mm. not getting the message and just staying where he well, is. Well, I think I think he needs to pull back more. Yeah, I agree. Wally gets a kill way in the background on my screen right there, on Mark. Uh, he is known to be a player that goes behind enemy lines and then just like tries to backstab. Yeah, but Mark was also a cavalry, so I don't really know how that happened. It's a bit sad. Anyway, if SBO can stabilize from this and then play on flags and play it smart, then they have a chance, because in theory their setup is stronger. They're not sure what to do with the windmill here, as both teams are just circling around it and trying to see what's happening. Maybe they're waiting for the flag or maybe they're just planning to push all together. <laughs> Ferunian coming around with a nice couch right there. Aiden was just not in position there, he should not have been that close. Yeah, I agree. Flag spawns far away from either team, but I would say SBO have an advantage if Rambo manages to get out of there alive. And he is starting to back, uh, back pedal right here, but his whole team abandons him and Aquila taking advantage of this. Goopy coming back to save his buddy, Matsu is sticking out as well. Leo. Once again. Kumi might be stuck up himself, yeah, exactly. Ooh, and Aquila taking him down. Mats is stuck right there, can Nelly shoot? Mats is gonna go down. The E should not exactly, Toy gets the shot. We just leaves Grimwald and, and Hugo van Paints, you know, to just stand there. And Grimwald is uh, trying to run away and probably trying to go to the flag where his body is right now, but they are so outnumbered. I yeah, fear there's, for the just, worst. there's no way they come in this. Nah. Yeah, Alright, Freeman in dismounting, which is smart what they picking up the kill, leaves Grimwald. If he can save his horse for one minute, which I doubt, but if he, then, you know, that would be good. It's gonna be boring if he does, but he can try to. Yeah, it would be smarter, but no. Ooh. He <laughs> thinks of the stream, and, like, I, I won't, you know, yeah. waste 40 seconds. Yeah, exactly. He's a, he's a man with compassion towards our viewers. This makes it a 2-0 for Aquila. Yeah, and, on, and SBO only picking up two kills in total, which is pretty bad. They have switched it up a little bit by having Goopy play infantry this time. Uh, I, I, I'm happy that they try to change things up, but honestly, the mistake is not their setup. Like it's it, whatever setup they did, they would have the same issue. It's their positioning. And that's just gonna get them killed if they keep on playing the same. So I hope that with this class change, they also sort of change their style. Uh, I hardly doubt so, because Rambo once again is pushing out and forcing his whole team to follow him. Maybe it might be a smart thing, he's thinking about flanking, but do you really want to flank Aquila that is so... Well, that has such a good communication on TeamSpeak right now, as I believe. We'll see what works out. Well, right now they're not, they're not, they're doing something completely different, which is good. Um, just Hugo, Kopi and Rambo up in the bunker here. Uh, Rambo looking at the window. At least it's different. Yeah, it is different. At and least they're sticking together. Grimwald trying to get a backstab. Toy almost got killed. So they saves Toy there. Oh, what a shot. Where is Ferunian? Uh, sorry, uh, Hugo. Uh, he's in the bunker. Oh, right. Oh, that was a really good shot. Yeah. And they're both around the corner here and trying to see uh, what the other team is going to do. Nelly is being very careful and trying to take some shots on the calf. Uh, but she decides to drop back. And this will make SBO Hugo push forward a little bit. He takes a shot on Jarl and gets it. Draken dies meanwhile in the background. Uh, that was that was a stupid. Aiden's going to go down as well here. Yeah, I Honestly, see. that was too stupid. They had the one-man advantage. They don't have to throw it away. And now they're the one-man deficit. Yeah. So, 
Bags have spawned. Sort of under control of SPO because Rambo's running towards it right now, but. Nelly and Toy in the same position here as archers. They want to stick together and just take down Cav as fast as possible, I believe. Um, Watley trying to push back the SBO Cav. FIFA comes and helps him out. Nelly taking a very nice shot from so far away. Watley playing very dangerous right now. But comes together with the infantry of Aquila. SBO is all bubbled up on the flag and Mark is way out there so let's see what happens Nelly taking no, another just... nice shot from so I, I doubt away. SBO can survive for a minute here and they're facing the same issue as before they sped up too much and then you know it's they just die I agree I totally agree it's just they make like two or three little groups and then one of them splits off and it's just chaos now they've lost the flag and there goes, you know, Leo is being on the zone here, but I doubt he's going to be able to doing much. Nelly gets a shot already on him. Drake and chasing him. Um, is he going to go for saving his horse? He can, it's only 30 seconds. I, I would. No, he's going to fight. It's, this is no, this is not. Oh my god, that was way too close. <laughs> he's really risking it. <laughs> Oh, and he's dead. He's dead. Yeah. That is really good calf play from Aquila there. Uh, Watley stopping him. It's FIFA Drieken. Drieun, sorry, coming in. So far, um, SBO have only had two kills on my scoreboard. And yeah. one, one team kill? No, two team kills. Uh, that's three kills because Hugo also team killed one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that is not a good start. No. It is a new map though, and I feel like every clan has to try to adjust a little bit. And every clan yeah, strikes but if you're losing 3-0 in the official match, let's, let's assume they did two trainings this week, then you have to realize you have to change up drastically. Like just something completely different. And I don't feel that's what they're doing right now. However, it could still work if they just um, decide to change up the way they play this setup. Maybe, like, if they take five minutes in the, the next set, like, take a good break and have, like, a brainstorm about what's going wrong, maybe they can. Uh, but right now, once again, there are two little groups, and uh, I don't feel that's the best thing. Aquila is picking up on that, and they are, it seems. Oh, I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> it seems that they are pushing one group here. But yeah, they're they sort of are. herding them back together. And you yeah. can see the SPO Cav even stopping them, uh, each other because they're maybe not used to this playstyle. And it's you can see that the, the, the SPO players are stressed at this moment. They are. They're probably not happy in team speak right now because they do want to go for the win. Watley and Fever are looking to come from the side here. I think the plan is that the Aquila infantry and archers will brush down the middle and that the calf comes from the side. That's my prediction. Well, you, you can see how well coordinated Aquila is right here. SBO is basically boxed in and Aquila is all around it. Like, okay, you know, where, where's, you know, what, what's the weakest chain, or weakest chain here? Where can we attack and just crush them? And they don't. The flag spawns and they're just gonna wait. I'm gonna silently move the flags now. SBO coming from the other side. Alright, this could be okay for SBO. Yuko going and getting into a good position right now. Uh, Watley has been like wandered off by himself at the other side of the map, and he's taking some hard, hard shots on. So he's gonna go down probably. Uh, but I'm focusing on the flag because that's what's important right now as there's only 1 minute and 17 seconds to go. Kila deciding not to go to the flag. Um, Sebi and Nelly sticking together, one in one archer, as well as Toy and Jarl. Remo picking up a nice kill. Toy taking down Lear and Nelly taking the shot for that. Nelly's been shooting really good today. Here comes the Kula cap. People yeah. are just cleaning up here. 
Wow, the Cav are doing so much work for Aquila right now. Bumping everyone they can. And now with just Hugo left and he's gonna get, you know, bum rush. He can take down Watley if he plays it smart. People are just trying to punch him with absolute disrespect and throw it takes the kill. Is. That's a 4-0 and, you know, SBO only pick up 4 kills uh, in total. Um, yeah, it's not a score you want to go to for the next set. Because, uh, well, 4 points is a lot. 1 point is already a difference, but if you go with yeah. 4 to 0, it's, it's pretty grim. Especially because um, Aquila get the start on Swadia right now, so if they f win that first round and have decent money management, then they'll be tanked as fuck. And it will be hard for um, for SPO while playing as Vigiers to do anything about it. Um, I'm trying to go through the messages on uh, Warband, on uh, the Twitch, and... There's a guy from my class that jumped on, <laughs> uh, saying how much he loves me. Um, if you guys have anything to tweet, uh, Larue is available right now, and uh, you can tweet to him. I'm not sure what your Twitter is. Um, at Larue to be. Well, there you have it. So if you guys want to hype it up a little bit, Larue is watching it like a hawk and your comments will be read out if you choose to do so um what would make the difference right now for SBR do you think or let's recap a little bit uh, I think you need to drop all the gav not all of it take just like three gav or something and uh, you know just more inf more archers the setup is not working for them um, they need to change it up that much is obvious yeah. right now they're playing ice scout um, who didn't play last set I think but he's one of the most underrated infantry there is so um, maybe he can make a difference I have not heard of him to be honest that's why he's underrated <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense alright Quilla starting out here taking already 3 cav and let's see what SBO bring out as well it's not live by the way Lerner not live? Oh, I'm very disappointed. No, you I see my hype casting there, that was so good. Yeah, <laughs> it started out great. Do the exact same thing when it's live. Yeah, right. You guys didn't hear that. I'll just, you know, do it again. Yeah, I'll, I'll edit it out. What country is SBO from, or are they international? They're all German, I think. Uh, so it's Germans against Germans today. Yeah, well, with the exception of Toy, who's um, Turkish, but yeah, but we consider him as a German as well, don't we? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I, th I think he can say like one or two words, so he's in. That's German, right? <laughs> I think they have to, I think they're going to start pretty soon. Exactly, there he says, kein problem, mein Freund. He thought he says, so he's a German official. Yeah, 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 we have read it as well. He's uh, obviously like dual nationality. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Just to clear that up for all the Germans out there. If you can say no problem in German, then you're German. <laughs> what a shot though, yes. what a shot by Toy. He's like, okay, I team killed. I'll just make it up with a nice headshot. No problem. Uh, our viewers cannot see what, what is happening in the not live rounds because. Oh, how disappointing! You guys just missed a nice shot from Toy. You have to take my word for it. Yeah, it was a nice shot. I saw it as well. But uh, right now, uh, my viewers are watching like the pause screen that was made by uh, Chris. So I want to thank Chris for that for making that. Yeah, I can see it, yeah, pause, and like the pause button, and welcome stream, Akula 4, SBO 0. Yeah, man. <laughs> you see the graphics design? Yeah, and, so um, good. If you guys want to try me out, um, Chris has made a little signature on that pause screen. If you can call it out, 
I'll let you decide which match to, that is going to be streamed on a random day of your choice. That's a pretty big commitment, man. <laughs> that is, but it's a very hard signature to find, so I'm expecting people to spam Twitch right now. Um, is it live right now? I think so. I wouldn't know, mate. Alright, so... Looks like... Gila is going with two infantry, two archers and four calf. And on the other side, SBO have two archers and one infantry. So they dropped another calf for an archer, I think. Yeah. No, they had uh, the same at the, They always had two archers last set. So I think they just went with Ice Cold as infantry instead of uh, Guppy, who's now just like, back to playing calf. Alright. I feel like that player you mentioned, uh, Ice Cult. Yes. If you reverse that, it's like a word. Sorry, what? If you reverse it, like, Tlaxki? Tlaxki? Uh, yeah. That must be a word for something. Are you serious? Ice Cult is German for Ice Cold, isn't it? That's what I thought. I'm not sure at all, but I feel like this. when people have names like that, I always try to reverse it and see what it says. And I kind of feel like this is one of these things. Your name reverse is Mock Love. What does that mean? Uh, I love Mock. No, <laughs> no, that's wrong. I'll, 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 I'm gonna unfriend you from Steam right now. <laughs> oh no, no, please, no. <laughs> I'll make it up. Anyway, both teams playing quite passive. Obviously, um, we'll have one more infantry than uh, SBO, but. I think this side may be working out more for SBO because Ramro can just go to the windmill, no problem. He's there quite safe. Um, Kula are playing quite safe as well, coming down King's Road right now and just taking you know a long step. Oh, he gets hit though. Ooh, I missed oh, that because Watley was pushing out by himself and he was kind of like getting cornered, but he got away. Yeah. Uh, who got a shot from Toy? Yeah, Toy got hit. Anyway, Ice Scout is gonna go on the flag right now. He doesn't have a war spirit, but he's got so much swag he doesn't need it. You just watch him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that is swag to the fullest. He's just raising that flag, like, he doesn't give a shit. Uh, meanwhile, Aquila is dropping down from the left side from the hill. And Watley is way out of position again but as I said he's the kind of person that like walks behind enemy lines and waits for the right moment to come in. Aquila coming closer and closer to the flag and this has got to be a warning sign for SBO to do something about it. Farrell gets dismounted and gets shot by Rambo but gets taken down by Leo. There's already a fight starting at the flag. The flag is almost up for SBO though. Ice Scott just needs to stay alive, which he's doing perfectly at the moment. Indeed. He's facing three versus one. Without a shield, so... He did good there, but now SBO need to recapture this flag and not let it be taken away from them. Mark needs to dismount and he does exactly that. Here comes Guppy. Just... Come on, SBO, come on. It's 3v4, it's 30 seconds to go, your flag is almost up. Yeah, but they have, like... SBO has, um... It's doing the reverse, like, there was two Aquila calf going on Rambo, and there was two SBO calf going on Kick. Uh, no, I guess the SBO calf just wasn't fast enough, because now it's Copy left, and I don't if see Copy, him clutching if, a 1v4 at this if point. If he can run, oh, uh, never mind, but if he would have run uh, towards that flag, he could have made a draw out of it, I believe. Uh, I doubt it, because um, the at that point the Aquila flag was so high that it didn't matter too much. Right. That is a shame though, because they had a good start and, uh, well, it was it was taken away from them. If I look in the eyes of Ice Cold, let's see. By the way, I got confirmation from chat. I, uh, ice Cold means cold as ice, so, yeah. Ah, right. Yeah. No secret names there. You see a little tear in the face from High School from losing that round. <laughs> um, but don't worry, he's got it. He's a, he's a man with balls of steel and emotions as cold as ice.
so I'm sure he will get the next flag. Hope so. Anyway, it also funny to notice that Aquila and uh, no, SBL right now already has more kills than, and than they did last set. This set could be better for them. One kill. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, actually, no, you're right. It is four kills in the first set, so at uh, first round, so that is the difference. But maybe you're right about the too many calf though on SBO side, so if they would like more infantry as you said or one more one more um, one more archer that is on Vega's side, they would probably turn things around. Yeah. Or just I don't know, I think they should at this point just mirror uh, Quilla's build. That is like a very standard build though, for an open map. Yeah, but it's working for them, so why not, you know, just copy it. Yep, that's just one point of view. A lot of... Uh, the teams are very spread out at the moment. But the flag has spawned and Mark is raising it already. Just this is good by SPO. The early pressure, they got so close last time. Maybe if they can hold up the Kula long enough, Ice Scott can stay, on, stay alive long enough and they get the flag. Yeah, indeed. So Ice Call is coming in closer, and as soon as he gets there, I think that Mark is just gonna hop on his horse. Yeah. He does. And to the 6 o'clock, it's just Hugo covering him, uh, which is always nice. Aquila is already pretty close to the flag, though. Yeah, they're pushing up, but not together, so maybe SBO can take advantage of this. Leo missing an important gotcha. Here comes Ice Call. He gets bumped down and gets. Oh, as we're actually racking up kills here, two kills, not bad. The Let's see if he gets some more. Right here, so yeah, could be good. Primal's trying to come in to kill Watley. Watley going out again after Leo. Grimmel taking down Kekin. Ice Cold taking out Farrell. Well, taking down Farrell at least. And now it's just a lot of Aquila stuck in one place. This is a point where we have to regroup and just protect our own players. Ooh, that's a bit of a sh uh, shit team TK there, but yeah, SPO just want to keep on going. 6v3. What they coming in here? Gets his mounted. Ooh, and doesn't get killed. That should have been killed, but he's got it anyway. Rambo now just is standing the flag here and Goopy as well. Oh, it is. And Toy is up there. They all know it, so they send out their calf. Uh, to harass him a little bit. That's a and good that's bump, it. and that is a good kill. That is nice teamwork. And they take. Oh, their first round. <laughs> exactly. By the way, I, uh, the the teams. You didn't swap Aquila and SBO in your stream. Yeah, I just saw it right now, and I switched them around. This mistake right. has been happening like every single set. So yeah, don't worry. Call me out for it. Because I will make it again and again. I have to learn this. Uh, for anyone who's confused, it's 5 1 at the moment for Aquila. So, um. Yeah. SBO playing way, way stronger here, so I see hope arising. I hope well, we can I, get... Aquila made a mistake in the way that they were gonna get on flag in time, but they dripped in one on one at the flag and just got bumped and slashed and shot and. Because, yeah, they, had, they should have gone more as a group, as a unit, to actually contest the flag. That is true. But they got, like, yeah, as you said, they got stuck and SBO should have taken advantage of that. I believe that's what you want to do if your opponent's team has that many cap, is just stop one and they will pretty much all, like, group up together. Yeah, maybe. It's, it's in my experience, at least. If you can get like one to stop, then they come then to you, kill you. Mm -hmm. Normally, it, I don't think you can count on that though, because good calf would leave some distance in between, I would guess. Who's who's a good calf nowadays? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, that old shit. Probably better. <laughs> yeah, archers are that much better. <laughs> well, why do you even need calf? Nothing much happening as you're all waiting for the flag spawn again. Flag's gonna spawn pretty soon though, so we've got that going for us, which is nice. I hear a cat.
calf getting shots on his horse, but I can't really spot him. Flag spawns at the same place it did last time, and Aquila is way closer this time. A very good adjustment from them. Yeah, it is. Um, I like staying at that little rock they were at, that little uh, yeah. ruin, because you have two flags that you're really close to. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and Mark already gets dismounted, and he's gonna die if Ice Scout doesn't come there to save him. He might still die by a bump though, because he's so low. Yeah, he does go down for it. Um, Nelly in that little ruin at the windmill trying to take shots and got a crossfire. Oh no, it's an infantry, never mind. You go up there uncontested, but Wally comes over and harasses him so he stops shooting. Meanwhile, Grimwald gets dismounted, Ferenian taking him on. Goopy coming in and gets that kill, but Fivar takes the ground force out. <laughs> Ice Colt, he's a really good survivor. I know what you mean now of uh, him being an underdog. Yeah. Fifar now just shot Koopi down. just left and Hugo and Hugo's fighting and Koopi is gonna die now so Hugo just trying to do his very best. And uh, there's not much again that Hugo can do. Can get a couple of kills maybe. But uh, he doesn't. Toy takes him down. That makes it a 2-1 for Aquila. I really hope SBO gets the next round because I'll see Yeah, if, if not this game's faster. over. Uh. Yeah. Pretty much. Mark here pointing to the skimitar. I called finally getting a message. He was running around like, where's my skimitar? Uh, ever since the patch, skimmies are such a, you know, such a rarity. Oh my god, Nelly just being disgusting and headshotting Aiden. I, I missed it. Oh, I know, I see. I'm Is looking that? at his face right now, and it's a bolt just penetrated the right side of his skull, and he's probably dead, you know, the moment he hit the ground. I'll go look for him if I can. He was at their spawn, right? Yeah. At the fence he is. The fence closest to the flag that spawned yeah, last time. Yeah, I see, I see. Yeah. Oh wow, his foot is higher than his head. Yeah man, he probably broke his back as well in the fall. That is a that's, you know, that's just how powerful Ned is, you know, bolts are. He shoots you. Even if it's in the hand, your, your entire arm is broken. Because, you know, his crossbows are just strong like that. And you just fly back a couple of meters, yeah. ha having your head above, uh, your feet above your head. <laughs> yep, that's how strong Ned is. Ellie has been playing very good for uh, Aquila right now. And as well as the calf from Aquila doing a really good job working together. Well, he's the kind of guy that he, he won't get like, you know, 12 kills in, in one set. He'll, ha he'll get those crazy opening shots that give you such a both mental advantage and also a numerical advantage, you know. I've, uh, I've noticed that as well. And like a lot of support shots as well. So. Yeah, yeah. Kilo are trying to come from the right side, they're like bubbling up a little bit. <laughs> and Nelly taking down another Ice Call. Ice Call just headshot. walking away, not holding his shield up, so that was sort of his bad as well. But, right, if you're gonna get taken out, that's something. And these shots are like mad distance. I'm amazed that they get them. Mark raising the flag for SPO right now. Groupie has to stay alive. People are coming for the couch, actually misses it. And then Mark just decides to kill his own horse, because why not? <laughs> Swag. <laughs> I don't understand why he still has his scimitar out. He should have had his lance out the moment he dismounted. Copy goes down. Yes, Copy keeps his lance out. Good job, Copy. Uh, Hugo and Rambo setting up on the high hill right here. Kugo's flag. And Aquila has managed to travel through their spawn all the way to the flag. They have the flag right now, so that means that ground force have to start moving in, I believe. But um, they're still remaining in distant, having two archers and two cavalry left. Watley takes down the kill that Vivar has dismounted. 3v5, this is not impossible. You're taking a lot of shots this round, so that's cool. 
It's the problem is there's 20 seconds left. The, the left. The flag is higher for Aquila. SPL need to kill all of them right now, and they realize but it, it's too late. It's too late. They realize it's too late. Yeah, indeed. Rambo and Hugo doing their very best here, but this is not a battle that they can win or should win by any means. Nah, no, especially not with uh, Nelly and FIFA around. So <laughs> that is. A hard time, and um, as Rambo tried, yeah, he didn't manage. So in total, that brings us to a seven-one right now. Yes, um, with Ice Cold leaving the game, and SP only having seven players right now. Ooh. So we'll have to have a little break to get them an eighth. Yeah. You want to go play? <laughs> go and recover. <laughs> <laughs> Just say like, oh, oh I'm not go. Knows, so I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I have to go right now. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you later, man. <laughs> Are you downloading the map? I am. Uh, because... I can see you in the streamer thing. I was like, oh my god. Oh, it's um, I switch between uh, this mod that I can stream and the mod that I can play, and I have to re-download this map every oh, yeah. time because of the ladders. Luckily, it's not a 500 megabyte map, so. Yeah, imagine. It's not World of Warcraft, so no 10 gigabytes waiting for me. You know, I'm wondering um, if this will be different for SPO. Um, if with perhaps more imp play and less scav play, they'll be able to manage it better and killing more people. Maybe. Because honestly. They can pull it back. If they're good at close maps, they're good at infantry, they can they, they can do it. It's not impossible. It has been done before, but it's hard. Well, if they want to win it, they have to win every single round to actually get the win. Making it a Yeah, but they seven. can still go for a draw. I mean, it's 7-1, it's not 8-1, it's not lost yet. It's a lot Plus of pressure. Plus, it's the beginning of the season, um, looking at round difference and stuff. Every round does count, so they do have to, you know, play their best till the end of the set. Yep, I agree. But mentally, seven one and only starting the second map is it's it's hard. Rough. It's, it's not really easy. Rough. Yeah. This is Warband, man. You gotta keep going. <laughs> no rest to the wicked. <laughs> Kila have a lot of players nowadays, don't they? I guess they do. Stream of vocal, and we're good to go. It's not live, I believe. Um, no, it's not live. As I say, it mentioned. You're always hyped to go. <laughs> no, I want to coke asking these matches. It makes me want to play high level matches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not I public, agree. just matches. Just matches, man. I agree. I've, uh, I've been streaming so much lately that I'm really missing out on playing matches as well. Yeah, well, it's good to just sometimes not stream and just play matches, you know, just I'm get, get, get some youth time, you know what I mean? I'm considerate to do it, like, next week, like, less uh, streams, but my fan base, man, it's my fan base. It's they'll hard, come, man. They'll come behind me with, like, uh, these burning torches and forks. I think my fan base is probably two people. <laughs> I hate to start it's your mom and your grandmother. <laughs> well, my grandmother actually doesn't know how internet works, so sadly, oh, yeah. it's just my you mom. You can tell her it's TV, like, hey, you know, <laughs> yeah, TV yeah, yeah. grandma. Like, you, hear really? that, you hear that guy talking English? That's me. I can speak English. Yeah, like, like, what? No way, because back, back in my day, we all talk just German. Yeah. <laughs> what? Like, what? <laughs> German, what? What kind of language is that? Alright, right. it's live now. SPO need to win this, like, no doubt they need first round, no matter what happens. In, um, in one of the previous matches, um, I had teams that had the wrong factions. <laughs> so they played this entire map with uh, Sultana against Nords or something. Ah, that makes quite a big difference. 
yeah, it's um, what what I was wondering then and still wondering now is that where are the referees? Aren't they supposed to be like at a match or two? Because I've been streaming so much, I haven't seen a single one. Um, I think referees are only for problem cases where they suspect teams of cheating or for um, because there's so many matches and they have like what, four or five referees, they can't cover them all. Yeah, that's true. That is true. And, and uh, SPL want to cool our boat, sort of, you know, smart, respectable teams. Nobody thinks they'll cheat and stuff, so, you know, no referee needed. Yeah, alright, I'll give you that. You know, but everybody knows that when you fight AE, you need, like, five admins, because, you know, we're all cheaters, so, yeah. At least. You yeah. see the aim bots, you see, like, the characters twitching the whole yeah. time. And then, like, w when you see M's character twitch, you know he's just doing health hacks, you know, just staying <laughs> alive. That's Press it. it. Pressing Control H for Claire's help. got this got this hack, yeah, where every hit, if he wants it to, every hit is a bounce and doesn't count as a real hit, so yeah. <laughs> cool. That would be funny to see. And the Zom is just, you know, a wall hacker, obviously. Obviously, he always comes not, not a tactical mastermind, just a wall hacker. Yeah, he just says, like, okay, they're right there, let's go there. And it just... But, um, enough about A hacks, we know they're there, and yeah, this is not exactly. A, so... <laughs> We'll continue streaming. My AE a is love, man. AE is everything. <laughs> AE is life. AE is the universe. Um, right now, Aquila has a really nice setup. They have players all over the left side. So this might be a little spread out if SBR decides to, uh, to rush it straight away. But the flag has spawned. And it's in the graveyard in favor of Aquila. So Aquila rushing back as fast as they can here and trying to go there as fast as they can and having a nice setup so they can counter anything that comes against them. I feel I think it's just like Aquila is pretty confident in the fight now. So they just want they have they know they have one more infantry player, so they just wanna have, you know, a big fight, big brawl and see who gets out on top. That was just what I was about to say, is just like let them lure in and let the fight mm -hmm. happen. Yeah, but now, now, they're, now they're splitting up. This is not good. Mox was way too far down. Now Steer, Nile, and Sebe are all pulled out of position. They're committing yeah. to this, but this might not have been the smartest move. Indeed, as Aiden and Oe sneaks behind him at the graveyard here. <sighs> Another team kill goes down for SBO and Aquila taking the advantage right now. SBO is on the flag, but they don't see Sebi behind. Oh, now they do. And At this point, SBO just need to win their 1v1s as quickly as possible. Yeah, indeed. Because technically, when Aquila pulled out, uh, SBO had the advantage. Yeah, they did. But they... Well, it was an unfortunate team kill and then it sort of swung, you know, Aquila's way, but it was a good start at least. Indeed. Um, oh, we're trying to survive here against Toy. Toy doing mad feints, trying to get a hit on, and he gets it. Probably twitching and cheating as well. Yeah, probably, you know. <laughs> That's a definite draw for Aquila, so they'll be happy with that. They need one more round for the win. Yep, they, they cannot probably lose They're anymore. gonna get it now, if you're realistic. They cannot lose anymore, and as they have already the score to have a draw, so I think we're gonna see some funky things happening on the Kila side. Players playing classes that they don't uh, really play, or maybe some mad strategies. Unless they want to go for every single point, which makes a difference in round difference. Kila hanging out in the alley. And SBO setting up a little spread out. But they're anticipating either for the flag uh, in the middle or the flag on their side. I think if it's the flag on the middle, they're, they are aiming for Aiden and SBO to go on the low ground and the rest of them having the high yeah. ground. Aquila not uh, having just a that much. Question. Do you keep streaming after a team has won? Yeah, I do. Alright. You don't have to stay if you don't want it. Uh, oh, no, I'm just asking because Lust always quits after one team won, so... No, I, I, I like to see the magic happen. I mean, 
the, the players still are playing as well, so I keep streaming as well. And uh, I had a request from Akila here, uh, maybe to have an interview. <laughs> so we'll see what happens with that as well. Um, I don't plan that much, and I openly admit it. So <laughs> any changes happening or anything that will happen, I'm all open for it. Oh, we can ask one after the set if you want an Akula guy. Um, I, I was asking... Let's ask Botney. Yeah, I asked him before, but he wants to do it like after the whole match, not not a uh, not after day one. So I hope you're okay with that as well, or sure, man. I might leave after this set because I still want to go take a shower. But other than that, it's like you want. Akila oh, we'll see. I mean, here. you still got this set with Akula uh, picking up two kills already. Flag spawn in the middle, and they're fighting in the spawn. Mark gets dismounted, Shiva picks up another kill. And a kill on taking it. SPO just get mopped up? They, yeah, they get nothing. There's nothing they can do. They just get, you know, cleaned up. Yeah. They. I mean. Let's be honest. They killed six SPO players. There are only Nox and Steer actually got hit. That's a bit disgusting. <laughs> That's very disgusting. And Akila have a lot of infantry to do it as well. They're so, going for the, the bike stunts here. Ooh. Doesn't need it. Nox stabs and then stabs him in the back. Yeah, he did not see that coming. Grimalds, being the last player alive, asking in team speak, do you not you guys need support? But Nobody's no answering. Support. They're all mad. Yeah, they're all rage. They're all but furious. <laughs> um this is a, to a total of nine one for S for Aquila. And officially Aquila has already won. Uh, my co-caster is A.E. LaRue. Yes, that's me. That is him? That if is you don't know voice. who I am, you've played this game long enough. <laughs> calm <laughs> down, LaRue, calm down. <laughs> my legacy! <laughs> anyway, I'm expecting SBO to just like go all gaff or, or do funky shit and something. And Nelly, you know, Nelly is not... Nelly just wants the rounds. He's not having none of this. He's just like, I see your head. You make a mistake, and I'm just gonna pop it. But have you seen the crossbow that Nelly is using? It's very special. It is not the heavy one, as most no. players tend to take. Does she uh, or he prefer it for the reload speed, or? Uh, I don't know. I played with Nelly for ages, and it was just it was a crossbow that was better for him. So All right. He tried using different ones, but nah, man. Nelly is a special guy. The first round build is like basically the same build. He doesn't get a heavy crossbow, he gets steel bolts, because that's, you know, he's, you know, he's just a swagger guy, that guy. <laughs> just, you, you, do, you cannot explain Nelly, he's a swagger. It's all swagger. Well, he does what he does, and he does it well, so there's no questioning right there. Exactly. As we are just stuck in U shape right now, and uh, Kula holding both sides. For you know, where are you going to come from? In there. I think they have to see what Aquila is doing and then push the other side. And then trap Aquila in the U-turn. That's what I think that is gonna happen. So Aquila deciding to push in from the right side here. Or fake pushing at least. And SBO not responding to that at all. The flag spawns, Aquila is gonna I think let them push out and wreck them? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Ferunian going through the back already and trying to do his magic. Meanwhile, um, Mark is coming around as well and gets that bump on Nox. Uh, Nelly trying to take some shots right here and Infantry doing as best as he can. But I think uh, Aquila's Infantry just, I mean, they play better, I think. As yeah, they did. The team play was very good from Aquila. Yep. Oh, that was excellent kill on Hugo there. Just Rambo left here. Getting ganged up by, you know, 7 Aquila. Hashtag just Rambo things. I like how Kekken was, like, uh, fighting Rambo the whole time and, like, setting up the kicks and all that and having them. And then Seve just runs in and one-hits kills it. 
<laughs> completely stealing that kill from him. It's possible. But uh, it is a uh, battle and you're supposed to work with your team and take the kills as fast as possible so we cannot blame Sevi for doing that. Really running down here on the low grounds. Ooh, somebody got killed. I heard it, but I didn't see where it came from here. Nelly's still hanging out by herself. Um, I'm referring to Nelly as a her because in-game character is a woman. <laughs> But I, think uh, I can a assure you he's, a, he's a, a male person in real life and he's got a very charming voice. <laughs> if you ever have the pleasure of, uh, of hearing his voice, then you're blessed. It's amazing. Fruin actually, how did Fruin die? Did he get shoot, shot by someone? Uh, Grimwald, which is a calf, stabbed him somewhere and I heard the noise but I didn't see where it was exactly. I'll try to search for it as teams are just waiting for flags right now. Uh, Alright, Watley has agreed to do an interview after this set, so... Uh, oh, wow, you set that up for me, that's great. Yeah, I totally did. Don't worry about it. Oh, sweet, thanks man. He's bringing Nox as well. Uh, they can bring everyone from Aquila <laughs> as far as I care. <laughs> Make like a whole bus trip and have everyone in here. All talking to each other at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll raise like a, a question like, who do you think is the best player? And then our star <laughs> talking to you each other. You should totally ask that, totally. totally <laughs> that. <laughs> like first question. And I'll like start arguing for 15 minutes and then I'll just quit my stream. Uh, SBO disconnecting here. Having a player disconnect. So that brings them to 7 versus 7. SBO coming out from two different sides here. Aquila waiting him up at the graveyard and they just want to rumble. Yeah, they're ready to go. Mox is not pushing out this time. He, he's learned his lesson. He's just gonna wait and kill people. Here comes Mark though. Mark and just rides by. I believe, Goes for a stab. I believe it has started yet as... Um, well, everyone is just going to it. Sebe picking up a double kill there. Very nice by him. Could be pulling one back. Maybe there's still a chance here for SBO, but I doubt it. You goes down. Just Mark left here. Ooh, that chap from Sebe. Mark is going to try saving his horse, but dying miserably. Oh, he picks up the kill! He picks up the kill! <laughs> the this afterlife. is sensational! <laughs> Mark has trained his horse pretty well, I would say. <laughs> and um, that brings this set to 4-0 and a turtle for Arkila of 11 to 0. So let me User change that score. No. Hey, no. Uh, we're not ready yet, Wally. We're going to yeah, start the whole thing. Nah, we're oh, gonna stream the whole thing. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. You can stream with us if you want. Yeah, no, 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 stream no, no, with no. us. I'll, I'll play then, I'll play. <laughs> how disappointing. Yeah, really, really. Yeah, how disappointing. Yeah. I missed He's your voice, my friend. Channel. He just left as I said that. Yeah, he doesn't so rude. care. So rude. Totally it's just like... No respect for my feelings. <laughs> no. I'm gonna go right out. Oh, poor guy. You need to shower, don't you? Uh, yeah, I got plenty of time. Alright. Um, are we live yet? I'm not no, sure. No, I doubt we are. Okay. Anyway, it's 11-1 right now, so it's it's looking pretty good. Yeah, I mean, once you get that kind of score, it's you can't call it a good match, actually. It's just one-sided. It's sad to see, cause like the matches this week always have been uh, like, such a, a huge difference. So I think the team picking might not be the best system, 
as of now? Oh, it's just, it always happens like that. It's just that um, people have to, um, what's it called? The system has to sort of sort itself out so all the teams that deserve to be bottom get to the bottom and all the top teams get to the top like that. Teams, uh, like at the end of the league, the lower tier teams won't be able to picking the higher tier teams anymore. Right now it's a bit of a clusterfuck. Alright, right, right. What I didn't like as well, and I heard it on the interview that Cleric and um, Shema was it? Yeah. Yeah, Cleric and Shema, and they Cleric was just uh, like not agreeing how every pretty good team was picking out these lower ones just to have the wins. Uh, I have to agree. I mean, it's it's not a nice thing to do. If you want to have a good fight, it's better. Yeah, to it's a bit shit, isn't it? A bit stupid. Yeah, and it's better to eliminate the high ones so they drop in lower. But um, I guess everyone is looking to have wins, and that's just it. They're not thinking. Well, to be honest, that. it doesn't matter because they'll just like what they're they're doing then is artificially getting into a higher tier. Yeah, but they won't win um, because in the end they'll have to fight people of like you know level three, four, I don't know whatever level is going to be, and they'll just get wrecked. You know. Yeah. A mediocre team fighting bad teams, getting getting to play with the big boys is just gonna get wrecked. Well, that's that's the thing. So rather take your chances to face high teams in the beginning right now and get a good warm up, a good insight about tactics from the team you're playing against, and then just dropping down a little bit and playing plays teams that are equal to you. Then, as what Larue just said, is ending up with the big guys and getting demolished. Because I yeah. I think that no, honestly. I'll make you a promise, yeah. If um, if any of of those teams that do this actually get to fight the AE in the end, I'll uh, I'll type all caps in chat if the map is stream the match is streamed, ready to rumble, small sun. Promise. <laughs> all right, that is a yeah, promise, promise I'll hold you to. That is a promise I hold you to, because um, I believe that's what's going to happen, and I believe because of that a lot of teams are just going to get disbanded and quit. That is my prediction on it. If if you face loss after loss because you you try to eliminate small games at the beginning, that's your own fault. But yeah, once again, this is purely subjective, and uh, no, opinion. it's not. Anyone who plays like that is a bastard. <laughs> well, that's all. I have no respect you. for the virtues of warband competition. Yeah, we should all hang him. <laughs> yeah. Throw him, throw him with rocks in and ban him from all the servers. Yeah. <laughs> the entire team, like you know, whatever. <laughs> team ban? Is that possible? That wasn't even on the team. I don't care, man. <laughs> I changed the roster. I'm not in anymore. I swear. Akila saying they're ready. Uh, as we are taking a few minutes to consider what their options are. Um, their options are basically all cav or all archers. Um. <laughs> or all naked. Yeah. Is it is it possible to go naked on these uh, WNL servers? I will double check for you. It is. It is it? Sounds like a solid strategy. I would go Great Lens, naked, and just try to stab what I can. You know that even though you might have lost the match, yeah, um, you know you still have the mental victory. Explain that. If you kill someone with a great lance while you're naked, you've beat them for life. That's just the way it goes. You know? <laughs> that I mean, there's no coming. There, on to be honest, there's no coming da back from that, is there? No, no, no. <laughs> even if you get wrecked 15-1, you know, I still killed you with a great lance. Whatever. In an official match, it was streamed. You know, it's gonna be a YouTube highlight. That is uh, history making right there. <laughs> but yeah, no great lands, nobody naked, they're playing it serious. I'm disappointed, but yeah. I am disappointed as well. You should probably tell Hugo to troll. Still so far, nobody on the Twitch has uh, even attempted to guess what Chris's signature is or whereabouts on the call screen it is. And um, once again, the offer is you can choose 
on whichever day, whichever match you want to be when I have streamed. So take a guess if you want that. Except Mondays and Wednesdays, because that doesn't work out for me. <laughs> but it's a trap. <laughs> the ball doesn't really exist. <laughs> nah, the ball is real. It exists. I'll show it real quick. Uh, the poll that I do take polls. Uh, I hope I get the right key combination here. Bam. There it is. Sign of proof. Tag's gonna spawn pretty soon. Yeah, and Aquila stacked up um, to go anywhere, actually. They just took in one side of the map and uh, they're watching what's gonna happen. Seeing what the flag does. I don't. F I think they're really confident in their players right now. So when they get the best flag, they could have gotten. Ooh, yeah, they do. They r don't realize it, or they're waiting for it. And I think they just want to have a rumble. That's what they're gonna do. Oh, not. Looks like they're dropping back to go to the flag after all. And as we see on the mini map, SBO is trying to take that small alley. So this is a sign for the calf to go all around the map and just sneak in behind him. But no one does that. First blows are exchanged here. Indeed. Between First the blood on Goopy. Oh, takes a killer at there. Fever again. Fever keeps going. Uh, and a killer. He got steam killed. He was too greedy. <laughs> yeah. They were like, screw you, Vivar, let some kills over for us. Rambo. Oh, but Rambo is here. going absolutely ham here, he's gonna get killed, like, no yeah. problem. And he goes down to Nox. 3v6, this isn't impossible, they just have to go for it and not, you know, hide here. Aiden being way out of. Oh no, he's got his buddy Mark right here. And I hear swords clutching, but I'm. Yeah, it's Leo fighting Lissa. Oh, here we go. Leo takes it. He's doing pretty good actually for ground force. Yeah, Sticking but the flag's almost up. They didn't have time to get there anymore. Steer gets a headshot. That was a very good shot. I have it from uh, Leo's point of view. <laughs> and uh, that was a very distant shot. I believe that the archers are getting better in general in this game. I used, I used to feel very safe and uh, distant, but nowadays these arrows, they can hit you from any distance and I noticed this when I'm playing uh, Heat seeking, man. What's that? Heat seeking arrows. <laughs> yeah, heat seeking oh, arrows. Oh, AOE exploding bolts. They're real. <laughs> Threat is hey, real. Threat exists. And uh, I thought it was rumors, but apparently by my cheating buddy right here, it's confirmed. Yeah, it's confirmed. Hacks are confirmed. <laughs> Actually, I banned my first auto blocker from the looters a couple of weeks ago, and I was really very proud of myself. Oh, how did you pick it up? He couldn't attack. The only thing he could do was block ridiculous feints without having to, you know, a second interval. Well, I guess you can see it because Luru is contesting in the council tournament, and he's doing very good at my spawn. You're such a beast, dude. <laughs> FIFA are getting so many kills right now. Lizzle taking a nice shot on Mark here. And I believe Rambo is in trouble here again. His horse gets taken down. Letting Kong coming in. Very right, can, can you spec Aiden? I'm gonna hype cast him, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aiden drops down. This is a sensational play. He picks up his crossbow. Can he get the shot? He's gonna get the shot. He misses the shot in Fury Union. He's stuck now. He's gonna have to keep on swinging. Here comes the bamboo spear. SBO Aiden needs to block. He gets a hit off, but he has to stay alive here for his team, and he goes down. Ooh, and he makes the pretzel. <laughs> that is a very nice attempt, I would say, from Aiden. But, uh... Yes, very good. Next fight, big fight, you shout cast. Oh, I'm not good. Do you hear me? How slow I talk on my streams? Yeah, but you gotta <laughs> practice, man. This is oh, the moment no. where you gotta practice. No, my English is just so slow. Like the first time I heard no. it. No. No. For me, in my mind, I sound like Eminem on crack. But <laughs> when I hear my streams, I'm like, whoa, is he high or something? 
I don't get it. You just sound a bit high, but that's okay. <laughs> Thanks. Mark trying to get some shots here. He's wasting balls, but never use 30 balls on a closed map like this. So that's okay for him. Maybe he gets lucky. You only need 8 bolts, right? 8 headshots, that's all. <laughs> yeah. No, when, when I spawn on a map and I know I'm gonna win, I shoot all my bolts. I just make sure I have 8 bolts and that's it, you know? <laughs> that is a. Uh... So, every Bold time. statement. I... Every time I would walk to the spawn that you're at, I would see like this little figure yeah. in the grounds of bolts. And then it's how you lose WNL3. And if I look from top here where. Uh... LaRue has dropped his bolts. I can see like a little B shape every time. Obviously. I'm gonna hide gas the next fight and it's up to you, okay? No, oh, I really When can't. I say go, you take over. You have a deal? I, I don't have the voice, we don't Dude, have Dude, I deal. just got you ten extra viewers by hide casting. Do it. Just do it. You actually have. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you really have. I think I have like five at least more right now. Nice. Well, I got retweeted by the guard of his tenure on Twitter, so yeah, thank them. Nothing really happening right now. Aquila doing the same as previous. They're winning it, so why not? Flag again in their favor, and is this gonna be a repeat? SBR doing the same again? And it didn't work out last round, so why the hell would you do it again? Oh, because Grimwald is already at the flag area. Wait, right, you're ready? I'm gonna hide cast, yeah? Which one are you going for? Nox. I'm gonna hide cast Nox. Nox yeah. goes in with a swing, he's in a 2v1. He ca he's gotta keep his shield right now, he's doing very good. He gets a hit off, he gets another hit off. Here comes Yard to support him. Nox picks up the kill, Grimwald is in trouble right now. And Nox picks up the double, this is sensational. Here comes Ferulian. Nox keeps on going. I'm not gonna stop until he dies. He keeps on swinging. He's gonna hit Aiden right here. I think it happens, but nothing happens to Nox. He picks up another kill on Leo. He's gonna go for on one on Aiden. Is he gonna pick it up? Is he gonna pick it up? One more hit is all he needs. He doesn't get it just yet. He's looking for he's looking for the opening and he picks it up. Sensational play from Nox. Yeah, that was sick. And I was laughing so hard I had to unmute my I had to mute myself. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was a really good play from Nox. I'm glad you picked him though. It's like exactly. new and, and you know, I know who to pick. Anyway, you're doing the last round, okay? Oh man, okay, I'll give it a shot, but it's gonna right. suck. Just keep on talking. Whatever you do, don't stop, and when you wanna breathe, you keep you you, you breathe when you talk, you like. I'm gonna hyperventilate and just pass out. And the stream <laughs> is gonna happen till tomorrow. You're gonna tilt like your your, your mouse when you pass out of your stair chair and just look at the sky and leave me here. <laughs> Freemunion coming straight back here. He's trying to do something <laughs> funky, but... He doesn't give a shit anymore, does he? No, oh, he's got that really heavy horse, so... What does he care? Freemunion trying to keep up right here. And looks like they are facing each other. Alright, who do I pick? Uh, whichever you want. Um, pick at the Aquila guy, so gonna win. Aquila? <laughs> yeah. So sure. I'm gonna go with, uh... Jarl. Okay, Jarl. Alright, as soon as Jarl goes in. Alright, Jarl going in, trying to hit. He gets a hit already, but the cap here is helping him out. His team is team of FIFA. I cannot talk faster, this is my voice. He gets a nice kill. Right, um, watch this, yeah. Watch, watch, is... watch this, watch okay, this. Okay, go, go, go. Grimwald fighting Furunu right now, this is sensational. He gets bumped, doesn't die though. Here comes Rambo to support. Rambo picks up the kill. Great team play from Rambo and Grimwald. Right, now you, your turn. I cannot talk that fast. <laughs> yes, you can. Come on, come on. No, I can't. Grimwald's gonna get flanked from the left. This is not good. He, he needs to be aware of this. He doesn't have shit equipment, and Nox gets the jab. This leaves Rambo again in that same unfortunate hashtag just as BL things position where he's not. He, he can't do anything. He's gonna catch the wall, but what, what can he do? Alright, your turn, your turn. Alright, Rambo looking for an opportunity right here. Coming around on a U turn, he sees Jarlcon standing there, so he's retreating back. But Ladikon coming in here. Can he run away? Yes, he can. The FIFA are already. Uh, predicting that he would go there. Then come coming in. You need to use like shorter words like Ramo. He has to flee away right now. He gets stuff, gets dismounted. Now you're good. Oh, he dies. He dies. Ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, I gotta do it more. This... All right. So um, the turtle is fifteen to one right now.
let me change that score and Larue, if you can get in what lead that would be nice. Yeah, I'm asking. 